think arguably DC's biggest release this week, which was Dark Knight's Death Metal Speed Metal number one. And this is Joshua Williamson with Eddie Barrows and then Evar Ferreira on inks and then Adriana Lucas on colors. And first off, we should start by, by saying congratulations to Joshua Williamson because he did wrap up a 101 issue run on The Flash. And this is kind of a capstone to that, but uh, or something just a little bit extra. Uh, definitely an incredible run that was the longest from the start of the Rebirth era, I believe, from 2016 to now. Uh, didn't change writers. I think ending up being up in second uh, would be Tom King on Batman, but he left it, what was it 75? I no, that feel like 85. I can't remember, but definitely somewhere around uh, that range. But no, he's been on this on that book since 2016, which is a hell of a run uh, until now. So we'll see what's next for him in the future. But this is Dark Knight's Death Metal Speed Metal. An absolutely gorgeous looking book this week uh, from Eddie Barrows and this uh, this art team. Almost every other page from Barrows here is a double page splash um, of some sorts that just is some incredible storytelling and just balls to the walls crazy art on it with uh, with action. Barry, Wally, and Jay Garrick are running out of time trying to outrace this zombie horde of flashes that Batman, who laughs, is sicked on them to make matters worse. The Speed Force is also running out of energy like we've seen in the series. Wally West Hatch has a plan, forcing him to stop for a moment using the Speed Force equation, uh, giving to him from Johnny Quick, that says, that, hey, maybe we should start running into this horde as they kind of stop at the at the Flash Museum or the remains of it to figure out a plan. And the plan is, hey, if we can get the Mobius chair, which the Batman and Hal is looking for, maybe we have a shot as Wally was able to sit on it in that Flash Forward series which kind of explains why he has like the Dr. Manhattan looking powers and costume now. Uh, he gets into it with Barry a little bit. Uh, also, uh, Kid Flash shows up. He like he beats up with them just around this time too, where uh, both he and uh, Jay end up talking them both down, saying, hey, we need to stick together. We need to get back on this. Um, and it was at that moment that Williamson kind of makes a statement on how when Wally came back, not only did he feel shoved to the sidelines, but he's lost everything. And uh, Barry kind of took the spotlight and Wally was, you know, kicked back to the curb, uh, which did kind of happen when Barry came back at the end of Final Crisis. But Barry says he's been following too long and realizes that, yeah, Wally stepped up big um, after his death and, you know, the original crisis. And Wally saved the universe more times than Barry ever has. So it's time he takes the lead. And they all take off and each one of them kind of gets beaten by the horde. But uh, Barry gives Wally like the last bit of push of energy needed to make it to the chair. Uh, where in this, like when the issue just fully takes over, the marquee moment for me, we see him shed the blue costume and boom, it's the classic red, no speed lines, the white eye slits, it's perfect the way Wally's costume should also always look. Um, he even gets to call Batman laughs, the Batman who tries too hard, which that was pretty great because I hate that, that character. Um, and he gets transported inside the Speed Force where he meets his family. Um, and the rest of the speedsters are all there for a reunion, full, like full out, like Max Mercury is there. Uh, Johnny Quick's there, Jay and Iris are there, like his wife, the kids, everyone is back. And they, but the reunion isn't is quite short lived as they got to get back to save the Justice League and they need to help for one last run. So Jay, Barry and Wally uh, go to lead them back to the Metalverse for the ultimate fight. We continued in Death Metal number four, but Wally gets to take the lead this time. Uh, Wally West is my favorite character in DC. So to see him like finally back in the costume that he should be in. And ever since 2016, when we brought him back properly, this feels like Williamson responding to a lot of that is they kind of treaded water with him. We had a really bad spat with him in Heroes in Crisis. And then we tried flash forward number one, didn't like that. So this felt like a giant course correction of what we wanted to do with them in 2016 since then. Um, I don't know what's going to happen next. I mean, obviously, by the end of this book, he's back in the blue costume uh, for story purposes. But hopefully, you know, the fact that they full out just showed that, hey, everyone's back in the Speed Force and we can bring him back once medal's over. Fine works for me as long as we address in the future. Definitely, you know, that's the big tease with DC and Wally West, isn't it? Uh, they'll give us this hope and then, you know, take it away, which is the worst thing in the world. But for right now, in this moment in time in 2020, in September, almost at the end of it, 
Wally West is back to being Wally West, essentially to the point where I can live with it. The kids are back, his wife's back. We can see the red costume um, and looks like he'll go back to that once metal is over. So, and he's taken the forefront over Barry and I'm fine with that. So hopefully it does lead to something. 